Hey, it's me, Goku, and you're gonna be subscribing to this video, and you're going to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Wait, what did you just say? Did you just say no? <laughs> you're gonna wanna take that back, my friend. <laughs> you're gonna wanna take that back. I was talking to a certain farmer, and he taught me how to blast people. And I'm not talking key blast. I'm talking my Glock. This is your last chance to hit that subscribe button. I'm not playing no games, fool. I've had enough of Frieza. I've had enough of the gods of destruction. I'll bring in some real heat. And trust me, I am locked and loaded. I'm gonna give it to the count of three. To hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment about your favorite Dragon Ball character. Three, two, one, goodbye. <laughs> Oh, my bad. That must have been like a BB gun. Let me switch to the row gun real quick. You're lucky I can't come through that screen. But wait till I use my instant transmission. Just wait. Your key is so low I can barely sense you. But I'll be there soon enough. And you won't be able to escape this Glock. I'm gonna be honest, guys, that was the goofiest intro I've ever done next to the Chainsaw Man intro. I don't know what I was thinking. Hey guys, it's Fusion Timmy here, and uh, today we're gonna be playing as Xeno Goku, which is like a time traveling Goku. Now, if you don't know who Xeno Goku is, I wouldn't be surprised. Xeno Goku is not from the main timeline, he is an alternate timeline Goku. You can find him in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, and you can also hear about him in Xenoverse, and I believe in even the manga. There's a manga about it, so. He's kind of well known, but you have to be quite the big Dragon Ball fan. If you want a full backstory on Xeno Goku, I won't be giving that in this video. You can go search for one, but just know I am playing as Xeno Goku in this video. What this means is, is I will not have access to the God forms, which is going to make this challenge much harder, which is something a lot of people have been asking for. There will be no Super Saiyan God. There will be no Super Saiyan Blue. There will be no Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, no MUI, none of the super strong stuff. However, we will be using Super Saiyan 4 eventually, which is our strongest form. There's actually something known as Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4, which is what Xeno vs. Goku actually uses. And we're just going to call him Xeno Goku for this video because it's just a lot easier. However, Xeno Goku does in fact use Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker, which is like a stronger version of Super Saiyan 4. On top of that, Xeno Goku actually uses the Power Pole which is something that the normal Goku left behind as he got older. So this Goku is gonna be a lot different. Is he necessarily the most powerful Goku? I don't think so, especially when I did an Omni King Goku video. But is this Goku gonna be a lot of fun? Absolutely. We're gonna have to play the DPC mod in an entirely new way, limiting ourselves to only the stuff that Xeno Goku can use. I don't know about you guys, but I think Xeno Goku has to have one of the coolest Goku outfits that there is. Like this is just, it actually has some style, you know? I feel like the orange gi and everything, it's not the worst, but it is a little bit bright, a little bit too colorful. Where you have the Xeno Goku outfit, he is kind of dripped out. And this is what you'll see most people using in like Roblox Dragon Ball games or anywhere where you can customize your character because it's a good outfit. However, let's get to this video of 100 days as Xeno Goku. So, it's been uh, about two days since I recorded that intro and I'm officially getting into the recording process. I've just had a lot going on. Uh, I actually got myself a car. Ow! I got myself my first car, and it was really cool. <laughs> I know this has nothing to do with the video, but I'm just like letting you guys know. If you're a fan, I, you might want to know this small talk. I did actually get a car, and it's a 1996 Trans Am, and I thought it was so cool because I, I mean, I had a truck, but it's like something I'm mostly using just for like a work vehicle. However, I wanted like an actual car, so I got like a really freaking cool car. Uh, it was a lot of work though. I had to sign a bunch of papers and. It, it was so worth it though, that's all I'm gonna say. And I've just been really busy uh, the last couple days. But now, like you guys, for, for you guys, it's like a blink of an eye. But for me, it's much more. So we have like a village right here. And it's really not that like crazy or anything. There's nothing really that I can use. But I mean, there's a village if I wanna make a home somewhere. I might need a home at first. I do need to put a bed somewhere. I kinda like that there's a village underneath this uh, Tommy's lookout. If you really want like the seed for this map, let me know. I uh, might leave the seed in the description because this is not like a, like a bad seed at all. I could always put it in the comment section if you guys want to see it. But I think I'm going to make like maybe this house can be my home. I'll call it house. This will be my home right here. Day one already got a house set up. <laughs> sort of. I need to get like some uh, sheep. So time to go find some sheep. But yeah, anyways, I got a car. I thought that was really freaking cool. Uh, but it's been very tiring. 
So I took like two days off from recording. And I'm still pretty tired today, but I was like, I kind of want to play some Dragon Block C. I just, I kind of do. Also, I like recording. It's a genuine like hobby of mine. It's a job, but it's also like kind of fun. It's, it's kind of like a fun little hobby. Now where, oh, where would a sheep be? I said sheep, not horses. Wait, wait, there's blacksmith. That's right, I need to always take the blacksmith. I didn't think this one would have it. You know what, we'll take it. I mean, it's really useless when you're playing Dragon Ball, but I mean, six extra, six extra like attack damage is still six extra attack damage. However, it's gonna be replaced pretty quickly when we actually find the power pull because Xeno Goku uses the power pull. That's actually really cool because the power pull is a pretty good weapon in this mod and it's not too hard to get. I can get that from the Dragon Balls. But I do not have it yet, so that's a goal I have to strive for. One thing I'm wondering is I don't actually know if Xeno Goku's able to use Kaioken. I don't know. I'm assuming he does because as far as I know, I think he's mostly the same Goku up until about the Dragon Ball Super area. All that I don't think is actually a part of his story. So I'm guessing he probably does have Kaioken, which means I might have to take a trip over to the other world to try and get Kaioken. Let me know if I'm wrong. If he doesn't have Kaioken, let me know. But I believe he's able to. I'm not sure if he actually uses it or not, but he should have the ability to. And that'd be pretty cool because I haven't used Kaioken in quite a few videos. Bro, where... Where is these sheep at? I mean, I can go ahead and kill stuff for TP, but it won't really help me. I need 16 TP to actually like level up us anything at all and that's gonna take a bit i'm still one shotting my power levels is too strong i have to go to like five or ten percent uh still no tp it's gonna take a bit to get tp um but once you get that first little bit it starts to speed up i don't know where the sheep are what is this i don't think i've ever seen this before i mean i do have a pickaxe somehow marble Huh. I've never actually seen marble in this mod. I know it's not from 1.7.10. That's gotta be from the mod. Maybe it's from another mod I have installed. Okay, I forget. I have this like little tab thing so I can check and see my mini map and I can see all the animals in the area. There's literally no sheep in the area. What are the odds? Well, I'm gonna initiate my speed and just try and find one either way. I'm sure if I walk far enough, I'll find some sheep. I really don't have to be afraid of the dark uh, with this mod because I'm just so OP, but it does make getting through the days quicker and the reason why i say that that's a big deal is because obviously there's only so much content i could do in this mod realistically and i do have a limit of how strong i can get it's gonna take a long time to get to that limit but uh i don't want to spend like let's say two to three hundred days worth of time in here if i don't have to i will say if there's like something left undone in those hundred days and i need more i could always do a 200 days video but normally i get everything covered in 100 days just because it doesn't take that much. Oh, we found the Bobby ship. That will not be useful for us because we are not evil. However, I think we might need it because of the story. So maybe if we see it, we'll get it just because of the story. It really hates sheep right now. Oh, I'm being shot. Hello, sir. Oh, my key's almost out. Hey, 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 hey. I gotta take him out before my key runs out. Oh my. All right. Well, first day, a little rough. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let me turn off turbo. That's probably what's been draining me so bad. Okay, well, there's no sheep. I might have to just sleep through the night. But I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to run around looking for sheep until I eventually find them. Maybe getting TP along the way, because I only have 6 TP. I'm going to need a little bit more. I just need to kill more stuff. Okay, guys, so it took a while, but I officially have everything I need to make a bed. And we have enough TP to also go ahead and start our training. So now if I was to just teleport home, I immediately have a bed. And my spawn will be set here, and I have a crafting table. Do I need it? To be completely honest, not at all. <laughs> but we do. We have it if we need. And now we can go up to commies, so do this. And I'm not immediately going to go up to commies, actually. I'm going to go back down, and I'm going to go get myself a sensorine. Wee Monk! Anyways, yeah, we're going to go up here, and we're going to go get ourselves a sensorine. We're also going to go flying nimbus. And then we're going to go up there and we're going to start training at the Hyperlock Time Chamber to try and get as strong as we can, as quick as we can. Because I just love being in the Time Chamber because it automatically puts weight on us. And you can only be in there so long, but it does increase your gain of TP. We use Shadow Dummy training and I'm just going to get against the wall and just kill Shadow Dummies. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, I almost fell off that. 
turboing here is like pointless, so I might as well just go to the normal speed. And here we go. Now it's turbo. Whee! Okay, so dude, I need a flying Nimbus. I need myself a Sunsu Bean. Yeah, I didn't think you ta taught very much. What the heck does the skill jump do? Make me jump even higher? I've never used it before. Oh, I was gonna do I was gonna do it. I was gonna say I've never used it before. Now might be the time. Maybe later. Maybe later we'll try it out, because that sounds really funny. Like I already have a pretty high jump. What am I gonna need a jump skill for? I've really never used that. I always just go straight to fly. I wonder if like, I can jump like ridiculously high. That could actually be kind of fun. In its own way. Whee! I definitely need to get the fly skill. Why are you cows up here? Which reminds me of that video where I saw a horse. I saw a horse at Comedy's Lookout. That was weird. I mean, I'll take the food, I guess. I have one since we've been. Uh, we may need to wait, but we probably don't. Uh, we'll keep our tail. I think it just it fits, especially because we're going to have to go Super Saiyan 4. And to go Super Saiyan 4, you need to be able to go Great Ape. Because if we can't go Great Ape, you can't go Super Saiyan 4. That's something that you need. Either way, we're going to go ahead and get in here and we're going to start our training. If you've never seen me train in any of my videos, if you've never seen my other videos, basically what I do, right, is I normally try and go somewhere where I can get against a wall. Normally, I make an area. So for now, I'll just come over here. And I'm going to get, like, up in this corner. Best I can. Then I'm not going to put on a weight right now. I have my power lowered to 15%. That should be good. And you can see I have... 49 TP right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and put some of that into my strength and constitution. Because that's like your damage and then your health bar. Eventually I want to do dexterity because that does increase your defensive speed, which is pretty solid. Then we go to shadow dummy training and we just beat up the shadow dummy as much as we can. We're not going to be able to kill it, but the more hits you get on it, the better. Uh, from what I understand, that's what fans have always told me and I think it's true. So you want to just keep low power and just do what you can until you eventually die. So like right there, I didn't actually die, but it died in terms of I can't train anymore. You get 7 HP, you get too low. Look at that. I'm already at 126 TP. Now the issue is food eventually becomes a problem because you can only do so much training when you're low. I actually might go cook this and then I'll use it because I don't want to waste this. But the point is I got to do a lot of training. I'm going to up my mind a lot so I gain even more TP because I need to make the most out of this training session. So, I'm so weighed down. But yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so, I just finished training. Uh, it's actually been a couple more days in real life time. This video has taken me ages to create. And I'm only, like, what, like, eight days in? This really isn't that far. But, uh, as you can see, I have 9,745 TP gained up, which is a lot. And if you're wondering how I did that, it's because I upped my mind even more. And I will admit, most of you already know this, but my TP settings are set a little bit higher in my config settings. If you want to change your config settings, go watch a video on it on YouTube. But uh, I basically increased it a little bit more. It's not like a crazy amount. It's just the default is so low. And when you have to get to the sagas that I have to go to, you need that extra mile or it's going to get way too slow. Anyways, so I increased my mind and it's allowed me to get to 9,745 TP. Now, I'm going to wait on our super forms until we get to about day 25. So for now, we're just going to focus on our actual stats. Immediately, I'm going to get our constitution up because that's our HP. And it also changes our action time, which is like how much we can fight. Uh, if you want to actually make it easier to put stuff in, you could always just like times 10. So like now it's putting in 10 points. But if I'm not careful, it'll use it all up. So I'm going to not do that now. This is your key pull, which is like the top left, like the little key bar. You need to make that go up because... Obviously, you want key to be able to withstand stuff. And I'm officially out. That went out a lot quicker than I thought it would go. Now, since I have so much mind, I should be able to go unlock fly from Kami, uh, which is an essential skill. But now I can fly around, and that's huge. That is very huge for our journey. And it's we pretty much take no fall damage most of the time, so that's pretty great. We can also stop ourselves mid-flight. Now, there are other stuff that we're going to have to unlock. We don't have enough TP right now. These cows, man, I swear. Imagine if I gained like 100 TP just from punching that cow. That would be more funny. But I'm only at 50% and I've already got 7,000 power level. We're growing so quickly. So quickly. And we haven't even started the story. At 50% battle power, we have 25,000 power. That's insane. But for now, we'll probably run about, I don't know, 10, 15%. Something like that. I think 15 is a good spot. Or 20. You know what? Screw it. We'll do 20. And uh, now, we need to assemble the Dragon Balls to get the power pull. Now, to do that, we got to start the story. Now, we're not strong enough to, to complete the entire original Dragon Ball Saga. But basically, we're going to do the events that Xenogoku would go through. 
Now, Xeno Goku, obviously, his timeline stays pretty much the same up until, like, after the Boo Saga. He has Super Saiyan 3, and it even has Super Saiyan 4. Now, I don't know the entire lore. I know Super Saiyan 4 came from GT, so I'm not exactly sure uh, how Xeno Goku has Super Saiyan 4. But I'm going to guess it's like a merging of the Dragon Ball Z timeline and the Dragon Ball GT timeline, in a way. However, GT is not part of this mod, so that's just something I can't really do. What the frick? Twitch broadcasting? Bro, you've all had that happen. If you've played Minecraft on PC, you've probably hit that button before. Either way, so now we need to actually do the story. And now that we've gotten far far enough away from the village and Kami's Lookout, we can actually begin. So, you see the Saga system, Impler Pilaf. We can go ahead and do this. Now talk to Master Ro Oh no, I always forget about this. So Master Roshi, right? He lives somewhere in the ocean biome. So we have to find an ocean. Once we find an ocean, we should be able to find Master Roshi's house somewhere in there. It's not already spawned in. It's something that'll spawn in after I'm over the ocean for enough amount of time. Uh, some structures, you have to go to the certain biomes for them to spawn in. And then they'll spawn in randomly. So right now, I think we actually might have an ocean. If you look at the bottom left. If I'm lucky, that might be an ocean biome. And I might be able to find Master Roshi's house pretty easily this time. But if not, I might have to go a good ways trying to find where Master Roshi actually is. Because that's a part of the story. And I have to find Master Roshi. Okay, this is definitely an ocean. Look how much it expands. Now, if I'm lucky, it's a big ocean. But if not... Oh, wait, wait. There's a rocky biome too? Alright, we're going to go make a... Uh, this is so rare. This is so rare. You look at the top left of the minimap. You can see... We have found a rocky biome. Now, this is where the Sand Saga happens. This is where dinosaurs spawn. This is going to be a huge. We normally have to spend days trying to find this, but we're finding this very quickly right now. I'm actually very impressed because normally this would take far longer to find. But it spawns so close to our actual spawn. And if I'm lucky, Master Roshi will be that direction. So it's really easy. We'll go on Sarri is right there too. This is actually a really good seed. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make a little thing here. I'm going to add this and call this just Rocky. So basically, we can come here whenever we want, and it'll teleport us to the Rocky Mine. So that's pretty cool. But now we have to go find Master Roshi, our main thing. This will save us some time in the future, because now we've already found the Rocky Biome. But we have to go find Master Roshi. We have to find the Kame House. Now, this better be a big ocean. I'm hoping it is. Because if not, this is going to be an issue, and we're going to have to go search for Master Roshi. Okay, so far I haven't found Master Roshi, but I'm going to keep looking. He should spawn in pretty soon. So apparently this entire ocean doesn't have Kame House. I just explored the entire ocean area. No Kame House in sight. So I have to go way further and find an entirely different ocean. So that's not lucky, but that doesn't mean it'll happen to you. If you guys want the seed still, it could happen at random. For me, it just didn't happen to be here, but it can randomly spawn anywhere in the ocean. So maybe if you spawn in... Uh, into this map you actually might have a good chance of it spawning around here and that'd be pretty cool But me personally I got unlucky so I have to keep looking Okay, so officially found Kame's house turns out there was an ocean not too far from here I went all the way out that direction it's anything so I started coming over this direction Turns out there was an ocean and I got lucky enough for the ocean to actually be right here So as you can see the reason I was on the Nimbus cloud is because it doesn't make my key bar go down I've had some questions of why I would use the Nimbus and not just use my flight the reason why is because it's just as fast, except for I don't use my key, and it gives the Nimbus a use, you know? I think it just gives it a lot more use until my flying is faster. Either way, now we have Master Roshi, and I'll probably never have to come see him again. So now that we have that done, ta-da! We can actually begin the true story, which is pretty exciting. Uh, although I am not any stronger, so I'm still not going to get too far. But uh, we'll do to protect because we are a good person. We are good right now. We're still Goku, obviously. I mean, yeah, this Goku's a little bit more mature, but it's still Goku. I thought that was a pirate-like uh, wreckage for a minute, but I forget. We're in 1.7.10. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta kill Yamcha. But to kill Yamcha, we need to go somewhere where we can actually fight him. And we gotta be in a not-safe area. So we'll go to the Rocky Biome, and I guess this is where we're gonna start doing some of the story missions. So we're going to kill Yamcha. Uh, we might need a little bit more key, so we're gonna charge up to 50%. Hey, bro, just... Bro, why you got them hops? Bro, thank you, Michael Jordan. Okay, all right, here we go. Um, to protect, we got my shoe and peel off. Yeah, and they are both all... Well, not both. They are all dead. It's not both. It's there's three of them. They're dead. Now we have to kill mecha versions of them because they watch Gundams once. Oh, nah. Okay. They saw Neon Genesis Evangelion. They thought that they could do that too. Nah. Sorry guys, you're not a part of Nerve. 
Okay, we got Pilaf Mecha. I almost said Pilaf. I am actually stupid. This is the combined mech. Uh, just as weak. I had slightly better stats. Now we have our first Dragon Ball, which is massive. This is huge. Okay, Roshi suggested uh, Termite, you have announced his energy. Blah, blah, blah. Back Tyria. I mean, Tyrion. Yeah, vegetarian. Yeah, anyway, so he's dead. Uh, Yamcha again. Because he, now he thinks that he's LeBron James. No, uh, no, 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 no. I have the power of flight. I don't care about your hops. I don't care about your hops. Speaking of hopping, we might get the jump ability. Look, this is how fast my TP goes up. That's what I was talking about. My TP goes crazy, and we only got 50 mine. Eventually, I get thousands every time. It gets ridiculous. Bro, why are you running? Why are you running? Okay. He's dead to protect. Jackie Chun, but he's unleashed his full power. Bro, think he Jackie Chan. Nope. Dead. Protect. We got the Red Ribbon Army. So now we're gonna fight a, gen a general. Or, I guess. Actually, this is a colonel. Where's the general? Okay, Major Metallotron. Hey, hey, zombie. I got a, I got a present for you here, real quick. Have fun. Um, you wanna fight each other? I wonder if they'll actually fight each other. That'd be pretty funny. I don't know if the mobs will actually... Nah, they 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 chill like that. That's messed up. That don't even make no sense. What are you paying the zombies to not get them to attack you? That's wild. Bro, that's not even fair, bro. Okay, whatever. Now we have Ninja Murasaki. I wish I had a cool name like Murasaki. Fusion Murasaki. They're pretty cool. I'm just saying, in theory. Ooh. We have a katana now. I mean, we're going to replace it with the power pole when we get it. But for now, we have a literal sword. A little bit of extra damage. I'll take it. To protect. Boyan. A boyan. Sounds like a vegetable. Nah, man. Bonk, bonk. You're dead. hey -ya! For now, I think I'm Jackie Chun. Jackie Chen, Jackie Chun. General White, here we go. Yeah, no. Yeah, you kind of got destroyed. Alright, now we have another Dragon Ball. How many Dragon Balls we got? We have two. We're gonna need more than that. General Blue. Nope, nope, nope. For someone called General Blue, he wasn't very blue. Ha, ha, ha. Mercenary Tao. I, I eat... Tao chi isn't Tao chicken a thing, or am I crazy? I feel like there's like a Chinese or Japanese. I think it's Chinese food that has Tao in it. I don't remember what it's called. Let me know if you know. But I'm stupid. All right, now we have a whole army. We're at six HP. There's no way we can fight that unless we use all of this meat. So I'm gonna try and use this meat, and then we're gonna try fighting these guys. And then after that, we'll be done with these missions. I'll have to stock up on sensu beans, do some more training. And then we can come back and do more. Good news is, uh, we just gotta get strong enough to be able to take out Broly and stuff in the end. And get all of our forms, and also get the Power Pole. It's not too hard. Oh, I almost ate way too much. Alright, 120. We're back to full HP. That's ridiculous. Alright. Bazooka! Bum, 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 bing, 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 bing. You're all dead. Bing, chilling. Okay, so, protect. Staff. Officer Black Mecha. Okay, then. Die, 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 die. Gone. Okay, we got fourth Dragon Ball now. And we defeat the Red Ribbon Army, but now we have Fangs the Vampire. So now we're fighting, like, the fortune teller, uh, uh Bob, Baba's, uh, uh, fighters. Yeah. Oh, God, we're gonna die! No! You know what? I haven't been here in a hot minute. 3,700 TP. I think this is enough to get Kaioken. If not, I'll do Shadow Dummy training. Either way, you know what? I mentioned earlier that we should probably get Kaioken. I know it's been a few days since I even recorded that part. But you know what? I remember it. And you know what? Since it's been multiple videos since we've been across Snake Way, it's time to take our journey across Snake Way and make it over to King Kai. Because we're going to try and get Kaioken. A move that I really don't use much because it has quite a drawback, and that's that it drains your HP. But it multiplies your stats by many times, making you a lot stronger. 
Also, this path is actual, like, a very long path. It takes me, like, an hour or so to get across. Because eventually you run out of key, and then you just have to run. This takes a very long time, and... For you guys, it's gonna be a flash, but for me, it's gonna take me like an hour of running straight. <laughs> I love Snake Way, guys. I love being Goku. I can't wait to get to Snake Way. Well, I guess not Snake Way. I can't wait to get to King Kai. I would love to get to King Kai right now, but instead, I'm gonna have to run all the way across this with my low stats just to try and get Kaioken. But we're gonna do it because I'm him. <laughs> this took forever this took so long bro oh my goodness i may have been killed but i'm gonna come back stronger that's for sure oh look at this we, we have a puddle oh god i forget the the weight here is a lot more than what i'm used to uh, okay if i could just make it to king kai i could do it i could do this uh, uh all right wait let me turn off my boost all right so kaioken let's go i got it old kai's ritual oh uh, you know goku doesn't have that um i'm let's key boost though oh no mind left well that's unfortunate you know what screw it i'm gonna do it anyways because I'm, I'm built different yeah we need more mind anyways because we're gonna be training soon oh uh, Aw, oh, man. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do Shadow Dummy training then. Uh, no. No, you can't do this to me. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I got to go back to the road. I'm going to make a TP here. Kai. Uh, not KO, Kai. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to boost off of here very slowly. And I'm gonna go to the road, and I'm gonna fight a shadow dummy, and then I'll teleport back over here. I just need a little bit more TP. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. Dude, that's ridiculous. Alright, now can I actually fight something? No. Okay, I gotta go a little bit further, clearly. The barrier's a little bit further than that. So, Mr. Shadow Dummy, let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Boom, boom, bing, boom, bong, bing, ding, shilink, bing, shilink. Hey, 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 relax, relax, relax. I've already died once. I don't need to die twice. Nope, nope, hey, nope, nope. How's it feel? How's it feel? How's it feel? Oh, oh, huh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> what was that? Dude, bro, bro just died. All right. Well, back to King Kai we go. Uh, it better not cost more than I think it does, or I'm gonna be like, Burr. please. You know what? Screw your key boost, then. Dang. What do you think this is? Nah, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna die twice. Watch this. Um. Uh. Well, time to go find something down there to kill me. And then we're gonna go back to the overworld. I'm gonna find something to kill me. And then we're gonna go back to the overworld and we'll be good to go. At that point, we've got Kaioken. We just need to get back and go train. So I'm gonna get back to Earth and then I'm immediately gonna go to the time chamber and I'm gonna train some more. When I come back, I'll be far stronger. Shouldn't take too long, actually. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey, wouldn't you guys be interested in like. There we go. Ah! Yeah, I thought that would happen. Okay, so, I've actually made some pretty big advancements. I've made my mind go up to 212, allowing me to get up to almost 100,000 TP. Technically, I gained more than this, but I spent a lot of it on mind throughout the journey. So now, I have quite a lot of TP ready to be put into other things. Now, what we will do is, since we've already got so far, let's go ahead and get our first super form. So now we can officially go Super Saiyan. Now, there's different grades of Super Saiyan if you've never seen the show. So we just have the base Super Saiyan, but there's Ascended Super Saiyan... There's Super Saiyan Grade 3, which is like a fat one that's slow. 
and then there's Mastered Super Saiyan. After that, you get a Super Saiyan 2, then 3, then 4, and so on. It's pretty basic after that, but there is some grades. But for now, we'll try and go to Ascended Super Saiyan. I think that's good. We used a lot of TP there. Uh, I don't want to go up too fast. Now, Kaioken. Might as well put some of our TP into making this at least somewhat strong. If we're going to use it, we want to be able to actually get some use out of it. And next, I think we should do our strength, our, our spirit for sure. That way we can stay in the forms. We got to do our strength, constitution, strength, dexterity. The rest will go dexterity. I know, you guys were probably like thinking, all right, Tim, you got to do some dexterity defense and stuff. It has been done. Now our power level is at 50%, which is at 234,000. Speaking of which, I should probably try and get potential unlock next time I train. I'm not going to be able to do it this time. But I'll go and I'll learn potential unlock so we can actually get the rest of um, the rest of our percentage. Like right now we're only at 50%. If we get to 100%, that like doubles our power. However, we can't do that right now. So we'll have to do that in the future. Maybe the next time I train, I'll come out with that. And I might even be able to fully max it with the way I'm getting TP. However, for now, let's go back to the Rocky Biome. And let's get a rematch here. We have four Dragon Balls. And I have a couple Sensu Beans I've been preparing. I got some dinosaur meat. You know, I've just been chilling. It wasn't that hard to get my stuff back, honestly. I just immediately got my stuff back and then just started fighting. Started training. And now we're ready to continue even further. So, actually, we're not even going to use Super Saiyan yet because I don't think we need it. Uh, what I will do is I'm going to go and eat some of this dinosaur meat to get my key bar up at the top left. That way I'm able to keep a good eye on it. And let's continue. So, thanks the vampire. Let's get him out of here. And you're dead. All right. It would probably be a lot easier if I went Super Saiyan. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Is uh, Okay. Um, uh, Okay. No, I got to switch the key. Okay. Okay. I fixed it. Now we can go Super Saiyan. If this is to go even further beyond. Okay. Well, we're Super Saiyan 1. Now, let's go ahead and go to Ascended Super Saiyan, which is a step higher than that. And now we have 1.2 million at 50%. That's pretty huge. I mean, at 50... 50% having this much power is pretty insane. Now we should be able to one-shot most of these guys. And you can see that our stats have went up quite a bit. We're going to do two protect. Because we're trying to be pure. Now I get to kill the invisible man. My arch nemesis! Where are you? Where are you? Oh. Okay, he's dead. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I thought he put more of a fight than that. Normally he's a lot stronger. Uh, ben just the mummy. I'll never forgive... That invisible man for blowing up my house. Okay, technically I blew up my house, but he tricked me into doing it, alright? It's like some mind control kind of stuff. <laughs> I blame him. Alright, now I gotta kill Spike. Let's go Spike. Like the Spike from My Little Pony, you know what I mean? Uh, he looked a little different. He was green last time I saw him. He was a dragon, but now he's blue. And possibly a demon. We're not gonna talk about that. Uh, Grandpa Gohan. Uh, apparently I'm beating up old men now. I'm sorry, Grandpa. You're dead. No. We, <gasps> we don't even need to use the Dragon Balls to use our Power Pole? Oh, that's fire. All right, guys. Achievement unlocked. The Power Pole. We also have Super Saiyan. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Now we got to kill Yamcha. All right, Yamcha, let's go. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, man, I didn't even have to do a third bonk. You only need two bonks. My bad. Now we got to kill Shoutsu, which should be one bonk because he's really weak. Bonk. Man, I feel like I just bullied that. That's not even... Bro, that's not even fair. All right, Krillin. Now, this this is fair, right? I'm picking... I mean, he's short, but, like, he's got some strength. You know what I mean? Never mind. Uh, we got Tian Shinhan. Let's go. Tian, me and you, right now. Let's go, dude. Okay, he's got some... He's got some power behind that. All right. But not enough, clearly. Hey, Tambourine, Relax! Relax! Dang. All right, symbol. Like, 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 a, like, like the instrument, or like, we're talking about like an actual symbol, like a symbol piece, like all my. Okay. okay. To protect, we got tambourine in mind. They're talking about some instruments right now. I don't even want to hear it. We got symbol and tambourine. Yeah, bet they're best friends. Let me go ahead and use the sensu bean. Aha! To protect. We have another Dragon Ball. We have five out of seven Dragon Balls. Now we have to kill King Piccolo. 
He has nothing on me when I'm in my ascended Super Saiyan state. Now, let's go. Kill Drum. I'm telling y'all, they're a band right now. King Piccolo had a whole band. He had tambourine, cymbal, and drum. Nah. <laughs> How did I not notice this before? He literally has like a whole musical instrument like band. Who's next? Freaking electric guitar? Okay, that'd be a little bit too... That'd be a little bit too much. Man, okay, violin. When we find violin. Okay, we have six of the seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. Now we have to talk to Kami. So we're gonna go to Kami's lookout. And we're gonna talk to Kami. Hey, yo, Kami, what's good, man? All right. Yeah, thanks. All right, so now, next. The third tournament. This is the Piccolo Jr. Saga. We almost have enough TP. Oh, no, we need more mind. All right, we gotta put most of this in the mind. And then what we could do is we can get our next form. Actually, we haven't even used the power of Kaioken yet. Kai- Oh, what? Bro, I don't even know. I said, okay, I'm, I'm stupid. All right, prepare, guys. Here we go. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. You can calm down now. Hey, all right, calm down. So, let's eat real quick, and then we'll go Kaioken. All right, so. Nyabul Kaioken. Kaioken times 100? Oh, we're using both mod packs. Oh, this is about to be OP. Oh, it's about to go down. 50. 100. Okay, uh, this is a ridiculous. We have 20 million at 50% because we're using Kaioken 100% in both mods that I have. This is not normal, but we're going to roll with it because it's the only way to make it work. Tien! Bonk. This is too much. I don't think I should have used this power on them. I'm just literally going to one-shot everyone. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my god. The Dragon Ball Saga is done. Just like that? Cybermen? I'm one shot the Cybermen! How strong am I with Kaioken? This is too much, dude. This is too much. I, I should not use Kaioken, dude. This is something that I haven't had in any of these playthroughs. The power of, like, times 200 Kaioken. That's basically what this is. Raditz? Oh my lord. I am so sorry, guys. I am so sorry for what I'm about to do. You're all dead. One shot, one shot. You're all dead. Gone. Just like my grandpa. <laughs> okay, wait. So, we need 10 cooked dinosaur meat. All right, well, let's go ahead and get out of our form. And I think to get out of the... Oh, no. How do I get out of the Kai kit from the other one? Uh oh Okay, so we do use this, and now... Okay, so let's go back to our base of 234,000. So we went from 234,000 to 20 million with our Kaioken times 200, plus our Ascended Super Saiyan. Okay, so maybe Xeno Goku's a little stronger in this than I had imagined he would be. This is a little scary. Just, just a little bit. Possibly could outpace even Omni King Goku, but I don't know about that. We'll see. However, what I will say is that it's time to go back. Because now we have to get some dinosaur meat, and I have to cook it, so... Wish me luck, guys! Time to make a furnace and play some normal Minecraft! Okay, so now we have the dinosaur meat, and we're ready to go. We've also got 10,000 TP, because I've obviously been killing stuff, so it just kind of came naturally. And now we can go ahead and get our next Super Form. So now we have Super Saiyan Grade 3, which is an even beefier version of Super Saiyan. On top of that, if I was to go here and do to protect, we now have to kill Vegeta and Nappa, and that'll end the Saiyan Saga. But to do that, I want to make sure I'm ready. So first, let's go ahead and form up. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't mean to do Kaioken times 100. My bad, guys. Haha. <laughs> My bad. What I meant to say was... What I meant to say was... Let's actually go and turn Kaioken off. Oh. Uh, what I meant to say was... What I meant to say was... Let's turn Kaioken off. And now let's go Super Saiyan. One. A two. A three. Okay, so now we're grade three, and I can turn on Kaioken. And now, now we can do the Kaioken. Times 200. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That power level go up. Times 20. Times 50. Times 100. Now we're at 200. Oh, hey, 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 whoa. Who's... Bro, you really think... 
Did you not just see me literally get 25 million battle power at only 50%? Yeah. Okay. So anyways. Oh yeah. Oh wow, this is so hard. Wow. Um. No, that was easy as crap. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So what we're gonna do now is <laughs> time to take on Frieza. <laughs> you feel me? Because what's Frieza gonna do against a times 200 Kaioken? Uh, grade 3 Super Saiyan, you know, I don't even need Super Saiyan 2. Why do I, would I even need 100% of my battle power? Kaioken times 20 is just that strong, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and eat real quick. You already know. And now, let's go ahead and just, uh, mm, to protect. Let's kill Frieza soldiers real quick. Pretty easy. All this without even trying that much. Xeno Goku something else with this Kai <laughs> times 200 Kaioken. I think that's what the limit breaker is going to be. I'm going to call it times 200 Kaioken like my limit breaker. Because if I put that over Super Saiyan 4, it's going to be insane. It'll make it so much stronger. It's, in theory, it, it shouldn't even be like possible. But we're doing it. Alright, Sui. Sui! Okay. Now let's go ahead and do it to protect. Sidoria. If you dare, I'm here. I'm the strongest. I'm the strongest. I'm the strong... Dead. Alright, now you have uh, one of the Namekian Dragon Balls. Zarbon. Oh, 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 oh! Dead. That's my impression of Zarbon, by the way. It's pretty horrible. Uh, we got a Dragon Radar now. And now the Ginyu Force. Let's go ahead and use the Sensu Beam. Nah, y'all dead. Where's Freeze at? Where's Freeze at? Where's Freeze at? Where's Freeze at, huh? Where's Freeze at? Where he at, though? Okay, fine. Protect. Kill Frieza. Okay, Frieza. What's good, Frieza? What's good? What's good? I'm not letting you form up. That's not how I do things here. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, if only I transformed, this never would have happened. Nah, bro. Okay, maybe just a bit, but they don't know that. <laughs> Dimension Overworld. Let's go. Uh, where's my ship? Oh. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so let's get back. Let's go back to Earth. And we might need to train some more now, because I'm only getting through because of this Kaioken, and it's killing me very quickly. I've already lost uh, most of my power. What do I do next? I mean, I'm, I'm in the overworld. So, what now? Protect. Buy him planes. Oh, yeah, we gotta fight, like, uh, Mecha Frieza, which normally breaks the freaking game. After that, at least. I don't know where one of those is, so let's go ahead and just get out of our forms. Turn off Kaioken. Woo! And now we're back to our base. Whoa, I didn't mean to do Kaioken times two. Whoop, let's turn that off. All right, so now let's go back to Kame's Lookout. I think now it's time to actually do some training. It's been a bit. We had a lot of fighting, and we just breezed through most of that. We have the power pole. We have almost all seven Dragon Balls, but we really don't need it now that we have the Dragon, uh, oh, that power pole. Uh, but we could use some more forms and more stats because we're not the strongest. We got to get potential unlock and we need to get a little bit stronger. So I'm about to go train a ton. Oh, wait, I got to go. Okay, I'm going to get some medical liquid from Namek and then I'm going to train. That way I can co constantly regenerate as I train and it's going to be absolutely insane. So basically by the time this is all over, I'll be super OP. Okay, guys, so I just got out of training. I have everything ready. I've been trying to get Sensu Beans as much as possible, although I had to use a couple. And I think we are ready to go. So I've got up 2.2 million TP. And the reason why I was able to do that is because I doubled my mind amount. That's right. I actually put some stat points into my mind. And I had a constant regeneration pool from the Namek, uh, like, healing grass, which I turned into liquid. Which basically allowed me to auto-heal while training. It's very OP. Basically, when you get to that point, training becomes so easy. And uh, <laughs> we're ready. So what we're going to immediately do is we're going to go get potential unlocks. We're going to go to Kami. We're going to go skills, we're going to get potential unlock, and then we are just going to max that bad boy out. Now, you're probably wondering, alright, so Tim, you mentioned uh, jump earlier. Bro, I think this is the most useful thing in the world. The jump, skill allowed, skill jump allows you to jump higher and also give fall dam also give fall damage protection and fall in less than 100 blocks. This is useless uh, in terms of like the fall protection, but everything else, I mean... Cool, I guess. I can I can jump like two feet higher. That's insane. Oh my god, that changes everything. I really I don't know why I'm doing. Oh, I got them hops. Bro, I got them hops. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of lame. I gotta be honest. 
At least I'm gonna train even faster. That's one good thing. Let me go ahead and max out Kaioken. Super form. Let's go ahead and get Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3. Now, to get Super Saiyan 4, that's gonna be like our final form. We're not gonna get that quite yet. But what we will do is we're gonna go ahead and make our stats insane. So we're gonna go ahead and do this Dexterity, Constitution, uh, Spirit. Definitely gonna need a lot of Spirit. This is like 100% so we can actually withstand our forms. And our power level. Wait, did I even max out potential unlock? Oh, I did. I was just making sure. I can go up to 100%. So 50%, 24 million. But that don't even matter. Let's go to 100% of our power. Oh, uh, this stupid button, bro. Let's see this button one more time, I swear. All right, let's see. Oh my god, this is actually insane. We're already at like 50 million or so at our base. Not quite 50 million, but very close in our base. On top of that, we can turn off Kaioken. And we can go to Super Saiyan... Three, which I don't think is an option, but you get the idea. So we got like Super Saiyan one. Oh my God! All right, Super Saiyan two. This is the first time we've actually been able to use Super Saiyan two. Oh no, you can't really tell because there's no sparks. Now you can tell. Half the boost. Now, if I was to go a step further, we'll go to Super Saiyan three. Ahem. I said we'll go to Super Saiyan. Okay, maybe I don't have it unlocked yet. Dang it! All right, that, what this means is I uh, I actually mastered Super Saiyan, then I got Super Saiyan 2. I miscalculated how much it is. So I have to get Super Saiyan 3 and then Super Saiyan 4. We're not even at Super Saiyan 4 yet. Either way, we've gotten a lot stronger, and I just wanted to update you guys before I do a little bit more training. I'm not satisfied, all right? Because, all right, the main story right here, it pretty much ends here. You can try and do Mecha Freeze, but it's going to crash your game, and it's pointless. However, there's the Broly movie, which is way stronger, and I am not ready for it even right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and max out every single stat that I possibly can. And it's going to take some time and some training. But I'm going to try and max out everything in all of my forms. And then I'm going to try and beat that quest. And I want to get everything possible that I can for Xeno Goku. So it'll be really, really fun when we go do it. So I got to do the last bit of training and then we can actually take off. Bro, Trunks. What is this hair, bro? That's all I'm gonna say. Alright, anyways, time to train. Alright, guys, I'm kind of huge now. I have to say I am Chad Kuha. <laughs> Seriously, dude, I'm like taller. I'm almost as tall as Whis. That's how strong I am. I've literally gained height. It's actually insane. My stats are maxed out. Quite literally, I maxed out everything. Because I just went all out on the mine and just... It just breaks the game eventually to the point where it's too fast. Let's go ahead and unlock all of our super forms. Max out fly. Let's go ahead and get every single thing that we need. You know what? We don't even need most of these because, I mean, to be honest, it has nothing to do with our build. However, uh... Literally, I mean, I mean, to be honest, we already have pretty much everything we need. We don't need a god form. We already have our Kaioken times a bajillion. We're ready. We are ready to do a fight. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the entire Broly Saga. Now, first off, let's actually go Super Saiyan full. <gasps> oh, I have to wait till it's nighttime. All right, well, we'll find a spot, and then we're going to do this at nighttime. All right, this is going to be the spot right here. This is floating little platform while the sun sets. I think we're ready. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to look for Super Saiyan 4, which I believe is Super Saiyan 2 anyways. Uh, all you have to really do is go Great Ape and then turn Super Saiyan after that. So we're going to look at the moon and go to Great Ape for the first time. We're skipping right over Super Saiyan 3. I mean, we don't even need it, bro. Literally, it's useless for us because we're about to do this. Now, we go Super Saiyan and it's going to turn us into Super Saiyan 4. And now, uh -uh, Super Saiyan 4. Bunning, look at that. It's insane. Look at how it looks with the actual outfit. This is nuts. Now watch this. And if I add the aura, it's even crazier. Okay, now you're probably thinking, Oh, Tim, but the aura is yellow. That's kind of nasty. It should be red. Yeah, good observation. That's exactly why. Kaioken. Yeah. No. You want to see red? You want to see some limit breaker? You want to see some limit breaker? Oh, bro. Look at my health bar on the right. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, bro. I, I would solo your favorite verse. This is insane. This is actually insane. <laughs> it can't even go much higher, but on the other the other mod pack uh, that's with this DVC mod, look how high I jump! Boom. Okay, I gotta be careful, though, because it's draining my stuff rather quick. Okay, I don't need to go to planes. Let's do this. Uh, this this freaking Kaioken's probably not the smartest thing in the world because it's honestly just killing us more than anything And we don't even need it, but we're going to we're just gonna instantly kill everything. Stop trying to make me do the Frieza quest 
uh, to protect. Uh, kill Goku. Well, that's easy because um, this isn't even the Goku that has Zimui. This is straight up just a. I mean, technically he does, but not in this mod. So, and even if he did, I don't think he'd be able to stand a chance against this. Bro, he was about to die from the cliff. He stood no chance. He literally doomed himself the moment he spawned in. Now you have the first stage of Broly. Bro, like, my XP is just like going around me. I'm that strong, bro. The XP can't even come to me. That's actually insane. Bro, are you are you okay? Sir! Are you alright? Dang! Okay. What was that about? Alright, so now dude protect. Now I have to kill Bruff. But brother I can't speak. Buff Broly. Okay, and now he's getting stronger. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? I'll be honest, I could probably kill him in my base without issue. But even with my forms, it would be way too much. But I'm not even just doing my forms. I'm using my freaking Kaioken times 200, which I'm considering a limit breaker since it doesn't actually exist. I don't really use Kaioken for anything else, but just imagine this being limit breaker. Like, it's it's just basically it makes this Super Saiyan 4 version go just as strong as the God version in the normal timeline. Also, they just do not like that mountain, do they? They really don't like that mountain. Where you at, bro? Don't tell me you're in here getting killed. Did you not spawn in? Bro, are you good? Oh, okay, he didn't spawn in. I'm actually stupid. Alright, Broly Legendary, gone. Got for the creeper, he could kill us! I'm kidding. <laughs> and now we've officially saved Earth. We have completed the Dragon Block C mod. We are just too strong at this point, but oh my god, look at how insane this looks. And like in the full moon. With my power pole. I didn't even have to use my power pole here. I was that strong. Just with my power pole, just chilling by the moon. That is... Wow. That's a really cool sight. Just imagine that being animated. That is insane. If I turn off the freaking aura, it's, you still can see it. There's nothing I can do. It's literally just the other mod. This is insane. And it's kind of scary. Let me know who you think in the, who, in the comment section. Who would be stronger? A Super Saiyan Blue times 200 Goku, or a Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker times 200 Goku? Hmm. I mean, it's a good question. So let me know what you guys think. Ah! Well, guys, that's going to be for this video. If you enjoyed this video of 100 Days of Xeno Goku, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as always. And if there's anything else you want to see in the Dragon Block C mod, or otherwise, let me know, because I'm always open to ideas. And this was a really fun 100 days, and I'm really excited to do more. Honestly, this was one of the funnier ones. I had a lot of fun making this one. It took me a long time to make this one compared to the others, but I think it was well worth it, and I hope that you guys enjoy. Either way, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. It's been a good one. Fusion Timmy, signing out.